I'm not saying it's rigged or anything, but um hi everyone, welcome back to my matter. My name is TZ. If you're new here, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Let's get right into this video. If you see me looking down, it's because I have my notes. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but like I want it to be really detailed and I'll be so mad if I miss anything out. So yeah, that's where my notes are. So today I'm going to be talking about something different. I'm going to talk about the short story contest that Webtoon is holding. If you didn't know, there's going to be a short story contest that has already started um it's a competition for short stories in two categories the brain category and the heart category um the conditions are that it's between three to five episodes so a minimum of three maximum of five episodes and you have to have 30 plus panels each episode so there's a grand prize winner who is going to get fifteen thousand dollars um their story is going to be like published in an anthology and um the video is going to their story is going to get like made into like an animated short of three to five minutes there's going to be two winners in each ca one winner in each category for the grand prize winner so each of them are going to get the fifteen thousand and all the other rewards second prize so that's silver prize that's going to be between three people in each category going to get five thousand dollars each and the story is published in the anthology and then for bronze prize third prize winners um, they're going to be six people in each category going to win six thousand um three thousand dollars each sorry and um the story is published in the anthology so all together that's ten winners in each category because like I said one grand prize winner in each then it's um three people for second prize and then six people for um bronze prize so that's ten um, winners in each category twenty winners overall um so if you're wondering how it's judged it's going to be 40 percent is allocated to narrative category and specific attributes 30 percent is going to be allocated to pacing reading and clarity and then another 30 percent for like level of audience engagement so i initially wasn't going to do a video on this i don't think um it wasn't even on my radar and then someone on my everything wrong with webtoon video which is out i think that was like my past two videos video before this um someone commented hey are you going to talk about how weird it is that some people have blown up rather quickly um whether i'll be you know doing a video on that and i was surprised for two reasons number one because i've kind of lost all concept of time so i knew it was going to be something that was going to happen vaguely i just didn't know when it was going to happen so i just sort of lost all concept of time that's number one number two is that when i finally checked up on it um i realized that the, the contest started 30th of april and i got that comment the first of may so literally one day after and there are already so many submissions that was my first thought like wow there's so many submissions already and yeah people had blown up very quickly um so but don't get overwhelmed even though there's a lot of submissions don't get overwhelmed you still have time you have up to 30th of june to submit if you're a creator so yeah you still have, you all have two months you have two months to submit um so yeah anyway that's not what this video is about i just wanted to like explain it a little bit um yeah i was a bit shocked to see how people had quickly blown up seeing that it was literally the second day of submissions as far as i saw the people at the top have already stayed at the top they sort of cemented themselves at the top and i don't really see these positions shifting it would take something really really like a webtoon to really really blow up for any of that those positions to shift and i don't see it happening from a lower level in popularity in popularity how it's it's arranged in popularity i don't really see that shifting and if that does shift it will probably be from one that's not too far off the popularity scale but yeah i'm not saying it's rigged or anything but um <laughs> nah i'm joking i'm joking it's not rigged but yeah we're going to try and break down the reasons why some of these webtoons have blown up and why your story as good as it may be and as hard as you've worked may not get picked so really quickly i've divided these things into two like two little categories here so things you can control and things that you can't control uh make sure you stay on to the end of uh, so yeah, make sure you stay on to the end of this video. Watch the entire thing because I put the most important reasons. Because I put the most important reasons at the bottom. So yeah. So um, first things first, things that you can't control. Number one, your thumbnails. So thumbnails are crucial. Your thumbnails are incredibly, incredibly crucial. I've subscribed to Webtoons in this short story contest purely 
on the thumbnails without even clicking on the episode before i've clicked on the episode to read what it's even about just because the thumbnails are pretty or interesting i've subscribed just because they're so so they're crucial they are crucial and like i said there are so many submissions so many submissions and the way um it's formatted at least on mobile is that it's sort of like a never-ending scroll so your thumbnail has to be unique enough pretty enough interesting enough to sort of catch the reader's eye so yeah that's something you can control at least try to control second thing is um some webtoons don't start immediately with the story um i've seen a handful of these webtoons like they start with the official artwork or like the official kind of like um thumbnail like a blown up part of the thumbnail and they'll be like okay first episode is going to start next week or something like that and it's like no don't do that don't 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 do that for me as a reader i just like it's completely out of my head when i see that because it's like okay what what can i do with this i can't do anything with this you know because it's it's not it's I can't go off of anything like that if you start with just your thumbnail and not with the story immediately the the way like i see it is that you have to be sort of economical with the you have three to five episodes maximum five episodes maximum you can't do anything more than that so i'd say be more economical with your space do anything you want because you might have a grand plan in your head at the end of the day i'm i like at the end of the day you're you you do you everything you know what i mean but like yeah i'm just trying to tell you what the reader's mind is at when they see something like that because like i can't do anything with this if it's only the thumbnail out you put up the thumbnail the official artwork and there's not another episode already like allotted for me to click on or to go to the next episode because it's just i i can't do anything with that um so yeah so that kind of wraps up that's really quickly things you can't control so let's go into things that you maybe just can't control and um yeah again stay to the end because i put the most important reasons at the end so number one probability like this should be your first thing there are only going to be 20 winners 10 winners in each category um as of today last time i checked which was like let's say two hours ago no an hour ago there are 1542 entries so that's a nearly 1600 entries you literally have a one in 77 chance of getting picked and honestly i hate math but those numbers don't look great 77 people that's like nearly like a grade that's like a grade of people so imagine only one person gets picked in an entire year like year 11 imagine one person gets picked out of that entire that's how my year level was 77 people around 70 people so imagine that's how that's going to be so the probability it's stacked it's kind of stacked against you because of the sheer number of entries it's a lot it's a lot um it's crazy it's the um and that's just the amount of entries there are there have been just over a week because it just started 30th of april today's the 8th today's the 7th this is the 7th of May and that's just over a week that's the amount of numbers so and there's still seven weeks left of this competition granted I think the number of submissions will sort of slow down after a while because it will be more of okay I'm filling out the amount of um I'm filling out the amount of more episodes that I want rather than okay hey um more people are coming in so yeah that's just one thing probability may be stacked against you number two genre webtoon has its favorites it has its favorites i've seen it you've seen it i really do think fantasy genre or webtoons with fantasy elements are sort of on top they do really well on webtoon because you can do so much with it um it can be under romance genre like something can be under the romance genre like that's what it is like let's say laura olympus under romance genre but like it includes like elements of like let's say fantasy or elements of romance you can do so much with that in my opinion and to the fancy elements of drama um with that being said i really do think people submitted under the brain category people who are submitting under that that's what your story wants to be are maybe at a disadvantage because of this the top 21 by popularity i say 21 because um the way my mobile phone is sort of arranges these things like by three rows of you know columns of three and that's how it goes the top 21 only two of them are brain. Only two of them are brain. By by um, arranged by popularity, only two of them are brain. Meaning the other nineteen are all hearts ent entries. So webtoon has its favorites. Webtoon readers have their favorites, 
and um yeah which brings me to my third category my third reasons um webtoon scrolling feature um remember how i said brain is at a disadvantage i think that could have been solved by literally implementing another filter so webtoon for this short story contest currently has three filters you can sort by popularity you can sort by likes and you can sort by dates I'd argue that the popularity filter and the likes filter are pretty similar just because one kind of leads to the other if you change the filters um, if you change the filters like between likes and popularity the positions of the people on top won't really change that much it's sort of going to stay the same so like yeah honestly I do think if they could have in um, included like a brain filter and a heart filter um, people would know what to do because some of these creators do not really put brain and heart next to their names if you can't do that do that so people aren't walking blind into what content they want to like read a lot of this um like i said submissions don't really specify what it is i'd argue that splitting the two would be beneficial but maybe it is better that people sort of walking blind um so maybe they don't get what they expect but at the same time nonetheless you kind of like what you get even though you didn't get what you expected so you like what you get and maybe that could work too maybe that could work i don't know you guys tell me how you feel about that comment down below and yeah next reason is socials i can only imagine that a lot of creators are promoting their work in whatever way and in whichever way they can so maybe instagram facebook etc twitter too um, if you don't have that kind of platform or following, it's going to be less easy, not impossible, but less easy to get the word out. I suggest trying to promote on Reddit. Reddit um, doesn't really have that whole hierarchy of followers and everything. If you um, promote on Reddit on like relevant subreddits, you may get people to go and find your webtoon and actually go and subscribe. I know I've done it for like a few, maybe like, I don't know, let's say three, four webtoons already. I've already seen from me scrolling on reddit and be like okay i'm gonna check you out so if that's something that might be useful to you maybe um think about doing that just post a panel of your art be like hey this episode is out go check it out i'm trying out for the short story contest etc whatever so that's socials and now for the last one popularity so lastly and arguably the most um, important reason is popularity a lot of these creators already have webtoons out of a decent amount of followings and subscribers i don't know i didn't really like put the two and two together that they would do that um i didn't even think like my mind didn't even think to say hey some of the authors already have webtoons out like it didn't it didn't click it didn't click for me until i saw like um i was scrolling through and then i saw this distinct art style that i know like i know this this creator I know this creator's art style very distinct and i was like hold on a second Ho hold on wait i know you i know you and then i was like oh wow so like a lot of these creators already have their own webtoons out they already have their own out um their own um followings you know what i mean the top 21 i was talking about at least one of them at least um every single one of them have at least one webtoon or maybe even two i've seen some of three webtoons already funny enough the only one that um didn't have like another web at least as much as i could find didn't have another webtoons i checked their um instagram as well funny enough the only one that didn't have another webtoon out was the one at the top by popularity leona the werewolf which looks really cute and i will be reading that and i'm excited for the next episode as well um, it's not a bad thing. It really isn't a bad thing to have your own webtoons out and to do everything like that. It's actually really smart to use your pre-existing audience and sort of like transfer that to your new ventures so that the people who are subscribed to you already on your other, you know, webtoons will support you. And they're willing to support you because they love you, they love your artwork, they love it. Um, for new creators, it just means that you're sort of at a disadvantage I've seen people be like, hey, engagement is only 30%, like, don't worry, it's not make or break. But I've seen other people be like, yeah, that's actually a huge determining factor. Like, what? It will, it's a huge factor for them, that whole, that big 30%. Um, so yeah, all of these aren't really meant to deter you, all these reasons. I just like being a pessimist low-key. I like knowing what I'm up against. Um, I saw somewhere that being a pessimist means that you're either always right 
or pleasantly surprised and i stand by that i live by that i've been chastised for that by you know my parents like titi don't be a pessimist but like hey that's what i am so maybe this was helpful to you i don't know um we just you can do your part by you know scrolling trying to scroll more i know it's a lot especially on mobile like you're scrolling you're scrolling you're scrolling it's 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 a lot of time and it gets very boring really easily but try to that you can find lots of gems like i found quite a few and also try and turn the filter on in order of um dates so that you see it kind of mixes it up a little bit and you can scroll from there and then you can see okay okay let me see what i like well, let me see what i don't like um i'm probably going to do a video on webtoons that i've found and that i've liked and um yeah look forward to that i don't know i don't think i should do it now though because the competition just started so maybe i should do it later on but yeah i'm really excited for some of the webtoons that i found um so yeah i hope you enjoyed and i hope that sort of breaks it down for you a little bit um like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video um tell me in the comments your thoughts and then tell me if you're a creator whether you're thinking about doing it maybe you've already done it maybe you're part you um you started it already tell me what amount of episodes are out tell me what your web to name is so i can go check it out and if other people see your comments maybe they'll go check it out too and um if you're a reader tell me your thoughts on it tell me if you've seen any gems personally whether you like the system whether you have some problems with the system creators too and um yeah all right bye